Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play of Mika Apoptosis. When we left off, um, a lot of creepy things were happening and I did not like them at all. But, we've got this kid with us now, so I'm not sure if I need to be going back? Should we try to leave and see what happens? He probably won't let me leave. You have no reason to leave the castle yet. Oh, I have a ton of reasons to leave the castle, to be very honest with you. Okay, I don't want to read it. No, never mind. I don't want to. I was trying to see if I could get some more diary pages out of these. Because I think... Wasn't there a book here? Oh, I burned it. That's right. Okay, well, hopefully it didn't have any diary entries because that would suck. Kid, you're in for a rough ride. Let me just tell you. The door's stuck. Stuck? But I just unlocked it earlier. It's only made of wood, so maybe we can find a way to break it open. We passed by several rooms before this. Uh, one of them might have a hammer of some sort that we could use. Hmm, should we do that? No. We don't have time for that. I've got a better idea. A better idea? Wait, I'm confused. Take a step back. Oh, we're just gonna blow it open. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what? Why are you so surprised? Like you said, this door's made out of wood. It's not metal or anything difficult like that. A little fire always does the trick. H how? What kind of powers are those? Did you not see me use them to break down the door when I ran away from the tower? No, I didn't. How and why? I've never seen anything like this. No, I mean, if you could do something like that, then why couldn't you fight back against the Cardinal and his gang? You, you can do anything, miss. Why? You could even save my dad. <laughs> I don't mean I'm blaming you. I, I just don't understand. What else can you do? I can do lots of things. <laughs> I can set that book on fire. Whoa. Okay, all of them are related to the fire. No, wait. Stop it. Hey, miss, snap out of it! Are you listening to me? Okay, then. Uh, amazing. I'm not seeing things, am I? You really can't do anything? I guess you could put it that way. B but then I don't understand. Why couldn't you just blast him away and escape? Set that rotten cardinal on fire or something. He won't dare to mess with you again. Or my dad. Oh, I wish I could, all right. Believe me, I wish I could. So, what's stopping you, miss? Divine punishment. Divine punishment? What's that? Is it the one that's mentioned in the Holy Scripture? Something about how humans can't hurt other humans with the power of the goddess or something like that? That's all a bunch of nonsense, isn't it? The goddess doesn't exist. Right. You're one of those heathens. That's rude. Just because I don't believe in what some dumb old guys wrote in a book with petty or pretty drawings. No, I'm not insulting you at all. It's good to have a different perspective. So you believe it too, right? That this divine punishment is something I can escape? You have to explain it from the beginning, because I'm lost. Let's move on to the next room first. I promise I'll explain everything to you. Alright then. So now what? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, let me save. Where should I go? Should I go back in here? Eh. Should we go up? Door's locked. Okay, never mind. So it wants me to go in here for some reason. But why? I thought I already read this. Why is it sealed? I already, I already, I already read this. I need more diary pages. Divine punishment. Was that what you were talking about earlier, Miss Himea? Right. I guess you want an explanation. Do you remember when I tried to save you in the tower? You didn't try to, miss. You did save me. If it weren't for you, who knows what would have happened to me. In any case, 
Remember what happened? You stabbed him. The man in the cloak who caught me. And... You were wounded. I thought I saw it wrong, though, because you didn't look- you don't look like you're hurt right now. Thing is, I was. Because of the divine punishment, that is. It stops me from killing anyone. I can't even hurt them or restrain them at all. If I ever kill someone, I will suffer the same fate as them. It doesn't matter if I'm using my powers or if I'm using an actual weapon. I will still die. But how does it work? What happens when you do kill someone then? Would you die immediately after they die or only after you find out that they're dead? What if you kill someone but never realize that they're dead? That's what I'm trying to find out. I do know for sure that I'm definitely incapable of killing another human being. I wouldn't be able to take it. My body will break down and I will die. Whoa. They say that the goddess's retribution, uh, that this is the goddess's retribution on me because I stole her powers from her. They said I'm a fallen angel from the book of treachery in the holy scripture. Who knows? Maybe I really am. Maybe I really am the devil and I just don't remember it. I don't really know anymore. Goddess's retribution? That's insane! The goddess doesn't exist! She's a fairy tale. And so are the fallen angel and whatever other characters there are. I told you, that's just what they said. But I don't believe it anymore. The thing they call divine punishment? I think it's just a spell they placed on me. A spell to control me. And once I can find a way out of it, I'll make sure the Cardinal and Miss Day Lancaster pay for it. This is a game I am planning to play. And this is a game I'm going to win. I won't run away anymore. I I'll help in whatever way I can. If it means we can get those people who killed my dad, then I'll do anything. Thanks for giving me the spirit to press on. I'm so glad you came. Hey, look here. There's a next page. P.S. I have left the original copy of the report on Mortal Recoil in the safe in the storage room. I've given the password uh, to the safe to Alchemist Farlane, but I've also written it in Himea's diary. Please let me know if you need the report and I can get it for you. Another page? How could I have missed that? Mortal Recoil, huh? So that's what they call it. We have to find these diary pages right away, and then the safe. Roger that. Um, so where are the other diary pages? I already looked at all these. And I thought I checked everywhere I could. But maybe with the kid, it's different. I don't know. Save. I'm guessing I still can't go up though, huh? Yep, it's locked. Okay. So in the storage room. Oh, I don't like this hallway anymore. <laughs> um. Uh, no, I don't need to read that. Where? Where would you find more diary pages? I really have no idea. Locked, of course. Okay. Well, looks like I'm going to be looking for some pages because I have no idea where to look. Whoa, what is this? A, the first part of Room's story. A? What? Okay, so that was on the back of my diary page? Um, the first part of Room's story. Which was page three. Okay, or I mean room three. Wait, you weren't here before. The devil hides on earth, disguised taking the things as their minions. 
With the devil's curse, the things shall walk among us once more. Why are you here? Oh, that's weird. Okay. But we need to go into the middle room first. Now, can I flip you over? This is the same. Rummage through them, yes. A torn diary page falls out. Awesome. This looks like a page from my diary. Yes, we'll read it. Oh, I hit no. I love talking to Dai. He melts all my worries away. Ta-da! This is my new house. Thank the goddess. This is wonderful news. I can't believe you managed to get a new house for yourself. Shh. Don't tell anyone yet, alright? I want my housewarming party to be a surprise. The first time I met you, I never thought you'd be such a fine businessman. Look at how much you saved up since. It's got its bad points too. Now all the girls are after my money. It's sad. Pfft. Don't be childish. I never complained about the fact that people are only proud of me for my powers. Now have I? Now you have. Nonsense. I'm not complaining. I love everyone in this village. Including me? Well, I guess you're part of this village now. I still don't think Miss Skinner likes me, though. Nah, she likes you. She's just shy because she's not used to talking to boys other than when. Hmm, really? I think I'm too dedicated to my prayers to be interested in women anyway. Hmm, the goddess is great, but you can't possibly be praying all day. Well, I didn't tell you, but before I left my country, I used to be a priest. A priest? What's that? That's someone who works as a minister in a church. What's a church? Have you not heard of a church? It's a place where people worship the goddess together. Well then, our village is a church since we all worship the goddess together. No, well, it's not like that. So, do you not have someone in your village who regularly talks about the goddess and prays? We all pray, but on our own. We don't get together to do it. Actually, this sounds really nice. I love my church, but well, there were a lot of politics involved. In the end, I left because of that priestess that I told you about. She wouldn't leave me alone. Was she the one who poisoned you? Hey, I'm not sure if she was the one who did it, but we shouldn't make any accusations here. Still... Anyway, speaking of the goddess, have you ever tried praying with someone else? Only with Mama. Then, since the weather's so nice and there aren't any interruptions, would you like to pray with me? To thank her for this lovely new house? And for another one of your miracle healings today. I always found that praying with someone else made it easier to see the goddess and talk to her. You can see the goddess? Yeah, I can see her. Really? Wow. But how? None of us have ever seen her. I never heard of anyone who could. We do pray, but she never responds. They all said I'm closer to her than anyone else, since I have the powers, but I can't see her either. I can. You must be amazing, Dai. It's nothing special. I'm sure you can see her too if you tried, Mika. You don't need her with your eyes. You need. Uh, you don't need to see her with your eyes. You need to see her with your heart. But hearts don't have eyes. I meant figuratively. Do you want me to show you, Mika? The goddess? Yeah. One day, our mother the goddess saved us from the things, and created a new earth. She breathed life into the people, and she watched them grow. Book of Creation, Chapter 1-2. That's her! Book of Creation, Chapter 1-2. That's just a picture, though. Close your eyes, Mika. Oh, okay. Imagine the goddess in your mind's eye, the one you've just seen. Imagine her talking to you. Can you see her now, Mika? Well, no. I see nothing but blackness. Because, well, my eyes are closed. Maybe it's because it's your first time trying, but I can see her already. I love the music and the artwork in this game. She's a majestic figure. I've seen her all the time in my dreams. I can see her now, too. 
She's beautiful. And she's smiling at me. Wow. Well, I didn't see anything. That's disappointing. Don't worry if you don't get it on your first try. Most people never get to see her at all, not even back in the church. But you're someone with the magic of the goddess, so I'm sure you'll see her soon. In any case, that's really cool, Dai. You must be really dedicated. As for me, I'll keep trying hard to do the goddess's work. I'll continue learning more healing techniques. I'll definitely make her proud of me. I'm sure you already make her very, very proud. How can you tell? Call it a priest's intuition. I don't know. I feel like something bad's gonna happen when she sees her. What's Mika doing here? Oh, hello, Dai. I didn't see you there. What are you doing out so late? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Your mother was worried sick. Shouldn't she be home already? Hmm. Maybe I should have let Mama know before I left. But it's okay. She knows I like coming here, and she knows that I'll be fine. So, what are you doing here? Reading? Yep, I'm studying. Studying? What for? I'm reading up on medicine and the human body. This is a really good book, so I'm really excited to go through it. Have you ever heard of the writer? His name is Alchemist Farlane, and he's written many books on the human body fun on how the human body functions. It's so exciting. Well, I guess it must be interesting, but why do you have to study medicine? Can't you heal people on your own already? Well, I need to study about the human body and the effects of different herbs and things in order to heal people, right? Can't you just do that with your magic? Doesn't your magic allow you to heal people immediately? That's not true. It's because I use magic to heal people that I need to know more about the human body and medicine than anyone else. That's why I have to study hard. That sounds complicated. I don't really understand. Well, let me see. How do I put it? Everyone in the village seems to think that my magic is healing magic, but it's not true. To be specific, what I can do is move things around in my mind and mold them into different shapes. Really? I've never seen you use magic for anything other than healing before. <laughs> there is a pot. There it goes. Whoa! Hmm. Okay. So you can move things around. But why does that mean you need to read books in order to heal people? Because moving things around and molding things into different shapes, these are the only things I can do. I'm not able to heal people with my magic alone. Though, I guess I can move them around. But wait, that makes no sense. You healed me. You've healed dozens of people. I've seen you do it. Because I'm a doctor. What? You lost me. Because I study medicine and the human body, which is why I know how to use my magic to heal people. I have learned how the human body works and how medicine works. So if someone has a broken bone, I know exactly how to manipulate my magic to put the bones back together. And if someone's poisoned, like you were, I know exactly what parts of your body were contaminated by the poison, and I can dissolve it. See? So as I said, my magic isn't healing magic at all. It's because I've been reading books and studying so hard that I know how to fix people right up. And the reason why I work hard is because I know everyone still needs me. I can't let them down. So, you've been working hard all this while. Well, that's true, but I'm happy helping people, so I'm not complaining. Do they all know how much effort you're putting in for everyone's sake? Only when they ask, like you did. I think you're wonderful. Oh, come on. I've always wanted to be a doctor. My magic just allows me to be one faster than I thought I could. I can think of so many ways one can use your power to do terrible things. But instead, you're using it to help people, even if it means you have to study so hard in order to make it work. I'll never use my magic to hurt anyone. It's the goddess's gift to me. So it's only natural that I use it to do something good. So there's no need to praise me like that. In any case, I know never to cross you. <laughs> Pushes him off the cliff. Oh. 
In any case, even if I didn't manage to learn how to treat people's illnesses and all, though, uh, magic like this is still pretty useful. See? I can even read while lying down. This is the best. <laughs> I see. That means you get to be lazy all the time. Hey, that's not true. It just means I'm efficient. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Anyway, now it's my turn to ask you a question. Go ahead. You know, I was always wondering, Dai. Was it hard? Leaving the church you've always been a part of, I mean? Of course it was hard. After all, I've been a part of that church since I was 14. But I've always felt different from everyone else, even though we all believed in the goddess. Well, my beliefs were different. If you believe in the goddess, then how are your beliefs different? Well, I was the only one who could see the goddess. That's a good thing, isn't it? No, it wasn't, because the others were jealous. They would say that I'm lying. What? Why? It's strange, isn't it? Even though we were all supposed to be children of the goddess, they were envious that I'd been getting preferential treatment. That's terrible. What bothered me most was that some of them even said I was pretending to see her, just so I would see better than the rest. And some of them were worse than that, especially that priestess I told you about. The one who you thought poisoned you? Yeah, her. I don't understand her. She was jealous that the goddess had been stealing away my affection from her. She demanded that I stop pretending to see the goddess and spend time with her instead. Can you believe it? She's a priestess of the first circle. She's supposed to love the goddess more than anyone else. And yet, she could say something like this. If the church had become like this, then it's in terrible need of change. I couldn't bear to be there anymore. It's insufferable. But I still do love and admire the goddess. It's a trial. I'm sure of it. That's very brave. You're much braver than I am, Mika. I'm only a coward who ran away from home. You're not a coward at all. You've brightened our village. You're a wonderful person. You can see the goddess when no one else can, and even now, you have faith and you trust in her. You always look so eager to experience life. You look like you've got the world spread out before you. I want to be a doctor. To make people like you smile. And that's why, Dai, thanks for giving me strength. Apart from Mama, Dai was the first person who knew that my powers weren't meant for healing at all. It wasn't something I've kept a secret. I was happy to tell anyone only if they asked. But I think everyone else was a lot happier thinking that my magic was a lot more miraculous than it actually is. Sometimes I do wish, though, that people would just treat me like a normal human girl. All I can do is move things around with my mind. I can't magically turn someone well again or save someone from death. I don't think they know that. But I do love everyone so much for the trust they put in me, and I'll continue to work hard just so I won't disappoint the faith they put in me. As for Dai, I'm so happy he came. I think over the few months he's lived here, he's become someone incredibly important to me. But I knew things weren't going to last, and as fate would have it, a strange priestess paid us a visit soon after. Is that the one that tried to poison him? Okay, this looks like a page. Yeah, I know. Letters written behind it on red ink. Read it. Yes. <sighs> Sometimes the bar doesn't show up. Okay, so N. One of that which protects the foolhardy to rush into war, but with the Messiah we will need no war? What? One of that which protects the foolhardy who rush into war, but with the Messiah we will need no war. What does that mean? Okay. Are they talking about the armor? Um, Miss Himea? Mika. Miss Mika, right. I was wondering, so you can't hurt or kill anyone, right? Yes, that's right. But that can't possibly make you completely helpless, can it? I mean, you know such amazing magic. Surely you can just bind the Cardinal up, stop him from moving, or destroy his weapons? Something? 
I mean, you probably can't, because otherwise, I know you definitely would have saved my dad. But I want to know why you can't do that. Why you can't immobilize them or create a magic barrier or something like that. It wouldn't hurt them, right? Divine punishment won't have to happen. That's something I'm not too sure of. Why? There's more than just the divine punishment itself that stops me from hurting anyone. I'm not sure how it works, but whenever I so as much try to use my magic to do something uh, to someone against their will, I tense up. I start sweating and I can't concentrate. If I keep going, I'll feel dizzy, like I'm gonna vomit. I can't concentrate on using magic like that. I won't even be able to stand up straight. My head would start ringing and it'll hurt everywhere. I don't know why that happens, but it's true. It's as if my ability to use magic or even move shuts down completely. The divine punishment extends that far? But that's absurd. It's because I can't use my powers to do anything wrong. But you're not doing anything wrong. You're just protecting yourself from the people who want to hurt you. I don't think the goddess comprehends that. The goddess doesn't exist. I don't think my own mind comprehends that, I guess. I have these powers, and the goddess says I can only use it to help people. I can't show any kind of resistance. I can't go against anyone's wishes. I have to be obedient. Even if they try to kill you? Yes. This body doesn't feel like it's mine. I wonder why I tr even tried so hard. Because I tried to escape. I got you and your father caught up in this. If my body is meant to be obedient, then I should have never tried to escape. But since I've come this far, I won't be obedient any longer. I'll defy the goddess if I have to. And if I do it, I must find out how this divine punishment works. True that. Okay, so I see the other book right there next to the armor. But I'm going to go ahead and save this episode right here because it seems like a good stopping point and we'll be able to continue in the next episode. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's go. There. Someone's watching over my shoulder. Reading with me. Don't look at me. Don't turn around. Okay, so they're in both spots? Oh my god. That's creepy!